this is the bottom. I'm reading off the last card of the deck. Uh, I feel like you guys have to figure out what direction you want to take. A lot of you guys might feel isolated or some kind. I feel like um, the main thing for you is to really figure out where you want to go and what you want to do. So as I'm talking to you, I feel like a lot of you guys can be involved with a person um could have met somebody last month or the month before and i feel like you guys are involved with them i don't feel it being like a real union although a lot of you guys might feel like it is a real union i feel like a lot of the gemini sometimes they tend to give their heart they kind they tend to wear their heart on their sleeve so i feel like you might be um involved with somebody as a, of an earth sign and i feel like that person that you're involved with they don't 100% are are not invested in you like you're invested in them. I kind of feel like a lot of the Geminis, they kind of wear, they wear their heart on their sleeve. So when they meet somebody, a lot of you guys fall head over heels or some of you guys might have this um, needy um, thing thrown off on you. I don't feel like a lot of you guys, um, I'm not saying that everybody's like that. I'm just saying I feel like some of you guys for the month of Feb uh, February are going to be feeling like that. Or throw the energy off. I feel like even though that person that you're dealing with, that person is it's a sexual connection. Like, don't overindulge. I, I mean, I feel like you over, you're going to overindulge in sexual pleasures. You're going to be pleasuring yourself sexually. But I feel like as far as, like, mentally goes... I feel like you, you're more invested than they are in this whole entire situation. I feel like um, you have the world in front of you. There's a lot more you need to explore. I, I mean, I know I f you might feel like this is the one person for you. This is the person you want to build something with. But there's more to life. I feel like there's more that you need to explore. There's more out there for you, not just that person. So I feel like this is the two of wands. I feel like there's more for you to experience, for more for you to witness. You really have the the world at your your fingertips, and you you can head any direction. There's so much more for you than just that. Um, I know you're being fulfilled because I feel like before you, some of you guys might have lacked that emotion, that physical, that that thing to have somebody care, and you lacked it, so you're latching onto it. Um, another thing too, I feel like uh, a lot of you, uh, Geminis can be involved with the same air sign. So, um, Geminis are air signs and air sign is, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, and a Libra. I feel like some of you guys can be involved. This is an energy that comes out of the card. This doesn't necessarily mean it has to be a woman. It's an energy. Sometimes this is an energy for you to let you know that this is how you need to be. You need to be firm. You need to be Sturdy, like don't hop back and forth. Kind of like stay firm. Know what you want and when you want it, and don't let um things sidetrack you. Okay. I feel like regardless of the situations for you, Gemini's, you persevere no matter what. Even if it's the the even if you get a no, even if a Gemini somebody wants to tell you no. They don't want it this way. I still feel like you still persevere. You still move forward. You're still, you're, you still say yes. Um, I feel like as I'm holding that card, I feel like a lot of you guys might tell the people that you're involved with, oh, I want this, I want that. And they're just like, no, but can you back off a little bit? Or oh, you're being too needy. And I still feel like you guys are still like, I don't care. I don't care. I still want to be with you. I still want to call you. I still want to be around you. And I feel like that you're still persevering, even if you're, you're, you're not accepting the no's. You're still moving forward. I feel like you're still continuously moving not accepting no the world you have the world at your fingertips okay you have everything this is success this is abundance for me i feel like this is the be brave believe in yourself because i feel like a lot of you might doubt yourself so believe in yourself flexibility is needed okay flexibility i feel like this person could juggle two or more so some of you gemini's i feel like for the month of february you guys can juggle two or more people now a lot of you guys might have um an x amount of options or something that you have that you're interested in or you're involved with or something i feel like somebody's not being completely honest with you that's what i was saying um some of you gemini's the ones that are dealing that are in a real 
not what I'm saying relationship. I feel like dating. There's a difference between relationship and dating. And I don't even feel like dating. I kind of feel like I want to say the word talking. Um, it's more of a sexual thing than it is an actual let's sit down and have a conversation type type of um, situation. I feel like you're being uh, you're being satisfied sexually. Like you're um, being satisfied that way, but that person that you're dealing with is not honest with you. Like I said in the beginning, I feel like the same way that that person lies to you, um, they lie to them. They're dishonest towards you. I feel like, like I told you in the beginning, I feel like they're not completely invested in you like how you're invested in them. I feel like you're expecting more from them and than what you're really going to get. Uh, my advice to the Geminis is for those of you who are involved with an Earth sign, don't continue to, to uh, fill your head with emotions that you're going to be with them or you guys are going to form something because they don't see you forming a stable relationship i feel like it's more of a um more of a physical there's no real behind meaning there's no real backbone if you wanted to start something firm and a firm foundation you have to start from the bottom up and i don't feel like you were starting from the bottom up i feel like you could possibly meet somebody at work somebody at school that you you met and things happen quickly i feel like over a short period of time everything's happening quickly and you're like head over heels for them and you want to be with them and you love them but it's like they kind of might tell you, like, they're kind of, they could tell you, they could be a little mean to you and be like, you know what, you're too aggressive or too pushy, you know, don't call me a lot, don't text me a lot, I need space. If they have all those characteristics and those are the things that they're telling you, then that means that they're not looking for something f they're not looking for what you're looking for. I feel like you're looking for more than what they're looking for. And they're not looking for what you're looking for. So I feel like you're getting the, the, the love and lust. You're getting that mixed up. You're not really looking at things for what they really are. You're getting confused. I feel like things are happening so fast you're not really sure. Um, there's going to be a celebration of some kind. If you do want to form something serious, I feel like you're going to have to collaborate with that person. You're going to have to be on the same page with that person first before you could even form something that you're looking for. Um, either way it goes, uh, you have family that are there. You have people in the background that um, help you. That will be good supporters. You have a backbone. It's not like you're completely alone. I just feel like don't let somebody play you for a fool. And you know what is funny? Because as, I'm, as I am talking to you guys and reading these cards off to you and telling you what I feel, I feel like a lot of you guys for the month of February <laughs> are the ones that are head over heels. I don't, I know I, I check the percentage of the people that watch my videos and the majority of it is women. But I feel like, I feel strongly for the men for this month. Um, maybe I'm crazy, but I feel strongly for them for this month. Don't let um, somebody take you for granted because I feel like that's something that you, that can happen. Like you can let somebody take you for granted or be overtaken. I kind of feel like you're not really looking at the situation clearly. Like you're really, 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 really not looking for it really clearly as you're supposed to. So I took a couple more cards out the deck because I read these cards quickly. So the first card I took out of the deck after those was the Fool. This is entering a situation. I feel like since we're, we're this reading is about love, I feel like you're entering the situation blindly, like a kind of like a childlike, kind of like maybe you feel like, man, these feelings you've never felt before. You've never felt these feelings for anybody, like how you feel for this person right now. I kind of feel like you're entering it blindly. You're entering it like like the fool, like kind of foolishly. You're, all the signs are there, but you're ignoring them. I feel like you know the answer to the questions, but you're just kind of ignoring them. You're not, you're just, um, this card is like, whatever happens, happens, okay? This is the attitude that some of you might have. I feel like you're not really looking at the situation clearly. You might have that type of attitude, whatever happens, happens. Like, oh, 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 let me just continue on moving forward, even though it's not working out the way you wanted it to work out, okay? So I took out three more other cards. Six of cards, six of 
coins. I feel like this is a uh, this signifies you being overly generous. Overly generous, it could be with your money, mental, physical, overly generous. I feel like people are going to just take, take, take from you and you're not going to get back what you want. Like I said, that person that you're dealing with, they're not honest with you and they're not, they're not honest with anybody. Okay, don't let them play for you because I feel like some of you guys are very needy. You get attached quick. And for this person, if anything, you're going to come off as a bother. Then it's going to go left instead of actually going right because I feel like you're going to just be like persistent, 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 wanting to be with them all the time, all the time. And you're going to push them away rather than getting them closer to you. So please not try not to be so generous. I feel like even if you do like a romantic gesture for them, they're not going to be happy with it. They're going to just be like, well, you know, this is not what I want. This Show me something new. Show me something I've never seen before type of attitude. So this right here is a person from the past coming back. Somebody you have memories with. I feel like options, you are you have. don't make illusions in your head about all the things you could have and should have. Because I feel like you're making more of a, you're thinking more farther ahead than what that person that you're involved with is thinking for. Okay? This card right here signifies for me as well. Um, energies are scattered. I feel like maybe the person or some of you Geminis for the month of uh, February might be juggling multiple people. May, somebody that has many options. I feel like you guys might have a couple multiple options that you could have or possibly be with. It doesn't have to be with just one specific person. This right here, this is somebody from the past. These are memories from the past. I feel like maybe somebody from the past could come back, want to talk to you about something or like um, exchange feelings exchange your feelings with somebody maybe you might be exchanging your love to somebody or offering them a love or maybe asking them hey you want to be my girlfriend you want to be my boyfriend i feel like exchange of love for this month is going to be very uh, a significant sign for you don't let people um take advantage of you too i just feel like sometimes you could be overly nice and if and sometimes people get advantage taken advantage of energies are scattered i feel like that person that you're involved with you're not really on the same page I don't feel like you're on the same page. I know you're wanting more, but they're not exactly on the same page as you are. Um, hopefully this reading resonated to you. I'm going to start uh, using love cards, specifically love cards for like the monthly readings. So that I don't uh, use just like the regular ones. So that's something that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. So stay tuned for that as well for next month's March. I'm going to be having a sale as well. So I took a couple more cards out of the deck. So two cards from that deck. This is laying and been contemplating coming out on a rough patch. So like I said, that person that you're involved with, don't push too much towards them. Don't be too needy towards them. Don't push them too much. Don't smother them because I feel like you're going to be laying in bed contemplating because that person, you're going to push them to the floor where they're not going to want to be with you anymore. They're not going to want to talk to you. This right here is, I feel like, coming out from a rough patch. Like, even if things are going to feel gloomy and hurt because I feel like they're going to hurt you. They're not going to stay with you. I feel like you're more invested than they are. So please, please, please take a warn. Take a precaution. If the signs are there, don't ignore them. I see you maybe laying in bed contemplating situation. Maybe some of you guys might be sad, depressed, um, having trouble sleeping, stuff like that. Um, this right here is coming out of a rough patch. So this is moving forward, coming to clear skies finally. I feel like you, maybe you might be a little gloomy at that, but you're going to move forward. You're going to come out on top. It's not going to stay like you like you uh, feel it is. I feel like you're going to move forward. You're going to just continue to move and things are going to go great. So be positive, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reading. Uh, I know the readings are running a little bit late, but I have a lot of readings to do. So I'm backed up on readings.